All right, what up, y'all? It's Matt. So I'm working on the tractor. I got it behind me right here. And uh, we're flushing the radiator right now. So I'm filming this before I know if it runs or not. If y'all missed out on the video where we got this tractor and uh, got it running or tried to get it running, check out up here in the cards. I'll link to it up there. But, um, yeah, we're flushing the radiator in this thing right now because it had a leak. The radiator was, like, halfway full when I got the thing. So, yeah, I'm kind of suspicious so uh, I got the pressure tester out and we're checking everything to make sure it doesn't have any leaks and we're gonna flush it I'm gonna show you how I flush it with uh, vinegar real quick alright guys so I got it flushed to this point here and this is what drained out of the radiator look how concentrated that is I don't think it was 50 50 that I mean it looks like it boiled the water out of it and I don't even know I don't even know but it's it's pretty concentrated and it got more dilute as I flushed it out but you can see that it's really clean. There isn't much gunk or rust or any of that kind of stuff in there at all. So I'm flushing this thing out. I'm gonna put some uh, vinegar in there and then dilute it. I'll show you how I do it. But it's got this nifty uh, little drain at the bottom of the radiator here. It drains out right here and then it drains the block up there. It's just a bunch of little hoses and it drains out here. So we're gonna fill this thing up with some um, some water and some uh, vinegar and I got the pressure tester out I already pressure tested it it was leaking right here so that makes sense why it was only halfway full because this I uh, sprayed bubbly uh, soapy water on here and it was bubbling up so it was leaking out right there but I got that tightened up and I pushed the hose on more so it's not leaking anymore so we're gonna fill this thing up with some uh, vinegar and water and let it soak and then we're gonna just drain it out now I know you should you know run it with the stuff and let it sit but it doesn't start yet and I'm just gonna do this to make sure it's good before we try and start it all right so we got our vinegar here and I got it diluted it was a couple cups of vinegar and you know the rest of water in here to fill up the thing but um you know I was seeing where guys did you know put the whole jug in there you know 50 50 a couple cups here and there i don't know i just got some and got it mixed up you know you can try different things i'm just trying to flush it out a little bit you know i probably go stronger if this thing was uh, really rusted but it's not so this should be fine All right, so we're gonna let this thing sit for like two hours or something go get something to eat and come back um you know you want to let it sit for a while and then flush that out you don't want to leave it sitting you don't want any residue in there so we're gonna let it sit and then come back and flush it out ideally you'd run it right but it doesn't start yet so we're just gonna do this for now all right it's time to drain Huh, that's weird. Now it's kind of bluish. I guess it went through some kind of chemical reaction or something, but you can see it's hazy. So I, I think it worked. I think it dissolved. It, it got something out of there because it's not clear. It obviously, it looks like it dissolved some of the, the scale and stuff. Yeah, that looks a little bit cleaner than it did before. All right, we're about to blast this thing out. That's weird. And just so y'all don't think I'm polluting, 
I uh, dispose of my stuff properly. You know, I've got all the green stuff out before. I'm, I'm going to flush all this stuff out. It's going to go on the ground. It's just going to go on the gravel driveway, and I'm going to make sure no animal drinks this stuff because I don't want to kill them. Oh yeah, it's running clear now. All right, so it's time to pressure test this thing. All right, I got it up to like seven PSI. All right, we're gonna let it sit. We'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, 7 PSI on the dot. This thing has not leaked down at all. I know it's kind of dark, but you gotta trust me, it's good. So, sprayed soapy water on all the joints, nothing's leaking, this thing is good to go. It's good to go. So I'm confident that it's not going to leak at all. I mean, it might spring a leak in the future from one of these clamps, but as of right now, it's good. So, um, I got the pressure test kit. I rented it from Advance. If y'all didn't know that, you can rent them from, from Advance and uh, you get your money back when you take it back. But if y'all don't want to rent one, you want your own, check out the links in the description because I'll link y'all up to all this fun stuff um, in the description where y'all can get one um, on Amazon. All right, y'all, so that's it for the video. Um, it worked pretty well. If I was gonna do it again, I'd probably use way more vinegar than water because, you know, once you dilute it down a bunch, it doesn't really do much. It's got to be pretty strong. It's already like 5% to begin with. So, you know, you really dilute it down. It doesn't do much. So it really depends on how much scale and stuff and rust and stuff you get out the first time. Like if you go and drain it the first time and all this gunk comes out, probably put like a whole gallon of vinegar in there to a whole gallon of water or something like that, you know, really get it going. And then, uh, you know, Ideally, you'd want to start it up and get all that stuff moving and grooving in there and flushing all that stuff out. But we can't do that right now because, like I said, I'm doing this before we get the thing running because I want to make sure it's good. So, yeah, just make it stronger, I think, to begin with. Like, one cup of vinegar isn't going to do much at all. So, that's it for the video, guys. Um, I'll post links in the description down below where y'all can find some real radiator flushes. 
and um, that pressure test kit I'll put links down there to some radiator stuff like that some tools and if y'all purchase from those links it helps the channel grow I get a small cut of it so I really appreciate that um, drop me a huge thumbs up down below don't forget to comment and subscribe for more tractor videos in the future because you know I'm gonna have a bunch of videos working on this thing peace